Hello, it's Pinkpoint. In this video, we'll talk about and how to subtract binary numbers. Binary subtraction is much easier than decimal subtraction. Before we start working out the problems, let's review the basics. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And 0 minus 1 is equal to 1. With a bar of 1 from the next higher order bit. Let's say we have 1, 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 1. The rightmost columns is for the 1s. Next column is for the 2s. Next is for 4 and 8. 1, 1, 0, 1 is the binary equivalent of 13. We have 8 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 13. 1, 0, 0, 1 is the binary equivalent of 9. We have 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. And 13 minus 9. We already know that the difference is 4. And we should come up with the same answer. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And 0, 1, 0, 0 is equivalent to 4. Then we get the correct answer. And for our next example, we have 10 minus 5. And we already know that the answer is 5. But let's take a look at how we do this in binary. 10 is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 5, which is equivalent to 1, 0, 1. To check these values, we have 1, 2, 4 and 8. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. And 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. And we should get the same answer. And for the subtraction, we have to subtract one column at a time. Then subtract two digits at a time. Starting from right to left. 0 minus 1 will give us a negative answer. If you subtract 1 from 0, you need to borrow from the left. Just as in decimal number. So we need to borrow from here. This becomes 0. And this becomes 2. Always remember, anytime you borrow a 1, the next digit to the right becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. And 0 minus 1, we can subtract 1 from 0. So we need to borrow a 1 from here. So this becomes 0. And this becomes 2. So 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Then we can ignore the 0. And we have 1, 0, 1. In decimal, 1, 0, 1 is equivalent to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. We can say that our answer is correct. For our next example, let's say we have 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So 0 minus 1, we can subtract 1 from 0, so we need to borrow 1 from the next higher order bit, which is 1. So this becomes 0, and this becomes 2. And we still need something for this column because we can't do 0 minus 1. So we need to borrow a 1 from 2, so this becomes 1, and this becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And bring down 1, 
zero and one. So our answer is one zero one one. Next is always do a quick check in decimal. We have our binary table one, two, four, and eight. And add all numbers with one. So we have eight plus four is equal to twelve. And this is 1. 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. And a binary number 1011 is equivalent to 8 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 11. So our answer is correct. For another example, let's say we have 1100. Zero, zero, Minus one zero one one. We can't do zero minus one. We need to borrow from the next higher order bit, which is one. So this becomes zero and this becomes two. And we still need to borrow for this column. So we need to get one from two. So this two becomes one. And this zero becomes two. Two minus one is equal to one. One minus one is equal to zero. Zero minus zero is equal to zero. And one minus one is equal to zero. Let's do a quick check. We have one, two, four, and eight. One, one, zero, zero is equal to eight plus four is equal to twelve. And 1011 is equal to 8 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 11. And 12 minus 11 is equal to 1. And obviously, this is equal to 1. And we get the correct answer. Let's do a little bit harder example. Let's say we have 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Next is 0 minus 1. We can't do 0 minus 1. We need to borrow a 1 from the next higher order bit, which is this one. So this 1 becomes 0, and this digit becomes 2. We still need to borrow for this column. So we'll borrow a 1 from 2, so this becomes 1, and this becomes 2. We still need to borrow a 1 for this column, so this becomes 1, and this becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 minus 1, we can't do 0 minus 1, so we need to borrow from here. So this becomes 0, and this becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And 0 is just 0. Then we can check our answer in decimal just to make sure we got the correct answer. Okay, write down our binary table. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. And add up numbers with 1. So we have 32 plus 16 is equal to 48. And we have 16 plus 8 plus 4 in plus 2 is equivalent to 30. And 48 minus 30 is equal to 18. And obviously 16 plus 2 is equivalent to 18. So that's how we subtract binary numbers. Thank you for watching. If you find this video a little helpful, give it a like. Leave me a comment or consider subscribing to my channel.